we need to be a little bit more concerned, a little bit more uh, belt tightening instead of constantly saying, you know, we are doing much better than the rest of the world at the moment and therefore oh. we will be insulated. That seems to be a line that could oh, get okay. us down the line into a bit of trouble. We need to get our act together. Actually, actually, actually uh, uh, Radeep, you should do a back testing. During two, from 2020 till now, how the other countries have taken decision, how Indian government has taken decision to counter the uh, uh, Ukraine crisis as well as Corona. We have initiated Atmanirbhar packages, non Atmanirbhar packages. We would never uh, unnecessarily uh, supplied money and given money to uh, everyone because it would have created inflation. Today, we are in a much better spot than any other country. See how uh, the Western world is struggling, how the US is struggling, how the UK is struggling, but India, everybody is talking nice thing about India because this, uh, the positive is taken by the honorable prime minister. Second thing, which is very important, we are not, uh, uh, if you say that we are not concerned, that go government is concerned because as I said, it's an integrated economy. And we are not thinking in isolation. When the world is suffering, India will uh, also be impacted. But okay. you have to counter with the policy measure which is being done by the Honorable Prime Minister. Okay, I, See, I, I, take I, I take your point. I take your point. Last 10 seconds. Yes. Last, last 10 seconds. When you're talking about rupee uh, uh, depreciating, rupee depreciating against dollar only. See, uh, uh, five years ago, again, I'm requesting we do a back testing. Euro dollar, today is 0.98. What it was, it used to be 1.4. Today, all the other currencies, you see the uh, 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 dollar uh, versus uh, uh, GDP, uh, GBP. Again, it is dollar which has strengthened. If India has strengthened against all the other currencies, including euro, including GBP, including major other currencies, except US, US currency, because dollar is appreciating against all the other countries, okay, you, you not made, only against... You made uh, that uh, point, Mr. Zafar Islam, you made that point earlier as well, but Supriya Shinet respond therefore. You know, the, there is the fact that there is an element of macroeconomic stability at the moment in the country. The big numbers are better off, whether it's on inflation compared, particularly on inflation, growth rates compared to other s countries that were similar positioned post-COVID, post-Ukraine. Are we going to give credit to the government for that at all? Or are we simply going to say we're going to oppose everything this government does? Rajdeep, you know better than that, and you can do better than that. Give me one macroeconomic parameter where the fundamentals are strong. Our growth is faltering. We are going to end this year yet again at under 6%. Our inflation is high, and please do not be misled by the, what the BJP tells you. The Indian parliament has mandated inflation between 2 to 6%. We are successively quarter after quarter, month after month, breaching it beyond 7%. What is the real rate of growth? That is what growth minus inflation is. You see the figures, it will tell you a story, which is why inflation is hurting the common man a lot more. Which other figure is uh, good? Please tell me. CAD, we are, we are staring at levels of 3.4%. Do they even realize what that means? I'm not even touching fiscal deficit right now. I'm not even touching the currency. And so much for currency, you know we would have benefited had our exports been strong. July, August, September, our exports have actually shrunk. And our imports have gone up so much that our trade deficit in the last few months has doubled the, over the same period on a year-on-year -year basis. Okay, let, I also want to point no, no, out let, one let, very important thing here. Yes. One very important, last thing, last thing, last thing, Rajdi. You know, when you are in government, you don't put up your hands and say external factors, what do we do? 2013, when the taper tantrum happened, rupee fell from 58 to 69 to a dollar. Within four months, we brought it back to 58 and we gave them the currency at 58.40. Within four months, 12 billion dollar worth of foreign, foreign investor money had fled the country. We got 35 billion dollars back. Within, within one year, from 5% growth rate, we took it to over 7%. Can they claim to do any of this? Okay, and let, please remember, no, this no, economy no, was a I, I, I have the another, I have some more news to give our viewers. Or I will, before the Russia-UK war. I, I, I must give, I must give Zafar a, a final word. Zafar, a final word, please. Uh, Radeep, I think uh, Congress spokesperson should revisit 2008. Without saying 
Please keep your mouth shut. I didn't interrupt you. No, no, no. Let, no need to say you keep your mouth no shut and all, sir. That's also not true. Well, 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 I'm, 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 I am. I am. I am. I am. I am giving you thirty seconds yeah, uninterrupted I, time. Please go ahead. So that is the differentiating factor. Secondly, that uh, she she was talking about uh, uh, mandate uh, mandate by the parliament for maintaining inflation between two to six percent. Just yes, she should also revisit. What happened during, after 2008 economic crisis? Inflation is double digit, uh, uh, weighted average, the 8.6 percent for the tenor of uh, uh, UPA. Today, today, you, today, you today, today, today you can see. Today, today you can see. Today you can see that weighted average is only four uh, less than five percent. That only suggests that the, all the policy decision which has been taken. Is actually is paying off, and all the high frequency what data. You have to see the high frequency. Well, also, you have to I have to say we are reaching the stage where our viewers are not getting the benefit of two very fine spokespersons not allowing the other to speak, and when that happens, the viewer loses out. I think you made both your central points.